is blastocystis hominis commensal or pathogenic and does it need to be treated? I'm Dr. Amber Sarita, naturopathic physician and medical education consultant here at Diagnostic Solutions. You're gonna find support for both of those scenarios. About half of the studies show that blastocystis can be commensal and may even have some potential benefits. And the other half show the pathogenic potential or the symptom profile that can happen when somebody has a blastocystis hominis infection. And so when you see blastocystis come up on a GI map report, you wanna to think to yourself, what is the patient presentation and why did you run the GI map? In my clinical practice, I am only running tests on symptomatic patients. And so when I see blastocystis come up, it's usually pertinent for me to treat. And this can be a wide range of symptoms. So anything from your classical GI symptoms of constipation, diarrhea, gas, and bloating, to extra intestinal symptoms like urticaria, joint pain, and fatigue. If you're running the test on somebody who is just interested in what their microbiome is doing, you're going to interpret that blastocystis hominis a lot differently, and you may choose to leave it because again, there's lots of literature that shows that it may have some potential benefits. But if the person is symptomatic, we cannot ignore that pathogenic potential of blastocystis hominis. I hope this was helpful and that you can think about blastocystis in these ways when you see it come up on your GI map test results.